First of all, let's start with debunking some myths. You might have heard that DevOps is only for engineers, that DevOps is difficult for beginners, DevOps is for large and complex projects, and that DevOps is not that important for a developer. All of that can make DevOps sound like something very complex, exclusive, and reserved only for the big players of the Silicon Valley. All of the above is not true. The DevOps approach is very easy to implement with the right mindset and tools, and you can benefit from it no matter the size and complexity of your project. Okay, so now that we are clear on what DevOps is not, let's have a look at what it actually is. The name itself is a compound word that's derived from development and operations. DevOps itself is the practice of streamlining the planning, developing, delivering and operating processes to ensure quality and coordination among software developers and IT operations. It's the holistic mindset that doesn't see development and operations as separate processes to be handled by dedicated teams, but rather as a single process designed to take your software from designing a feature, developing it through testing, deploying to infrastructure, to finally getting it into the hands of the users. Sounds great, doesn't it? Taking ownership of and having control over the entire software development process can take you on the path to better, less buggy software that's quicker to develop and release to production. The cornerstone of DevOps is automation. DevOps specialists strive to automate as much as it's possible. Code testing, deployments, setting up environments, sending out notifications. Being at the center of the topic, there are a couple of important concepts stemming from automation. Here are four you'd want to remember and keep close to your heart. A pipeline is the result of synergy between CI and CD, an automated set of actions that allows faster and higher quality delivery to the user. These actions can range from setting up and deploying a testing environment, building apps, running unit and integration tests, to deploying the tested code to specific servers or cloud providers. Continuous integration is an approach where all developers merge their changes to the main branch as often as they can. The changes are then validated by a suite of automated tests that ensure that whatever is on the project's main branch simply works. Continuous delivery takes the CI concept a step further and automatically builds the tested code and releases it to the selected environments, where you can deploy it with the click of a button. Continuous deployment goes even further and makes everything, including the deployment to the selected environments, completely automatic. If you are confident that your test coverage is solid, the code quality is there, and that there are no other blockers, this is the way to go. Automation is one of the pillars of the DevOps world, and as you can imagine, there are many tools that aim to help the developers reach the desired level of automation. Some are paid, some are free, and some are open source. Even if you haven't explored the domain yet, you have probably heard names like Jenkins, CircleCI, or Travis. For this course, we're going to be using Buddy CACD platform, which is a very user-friendly tool that's not going to leave you scratching your head trying to understand what's going on. Buddy offers a very clear and logical user interface and allows you to focus on your pipelines instead of learning the tool. As your DevOps knowledge and experience grow, you will easily find more advanced uses of the tool. Buddy also offers a free trial for everybody and it doesn't hide any features behind a paywall. Actually, it doesn't even require adding your credit card information to the account, so you can experiment away without worrying about generating any costs. Go right ahead and sign up for the free trial in Buddy. Go to buddy.works and click here to sign up. Just create a new account or use your GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket account to sign in. How about we create our first pipeline while we're at it? First, add a new project. You can create a completely new one and host your code with Buddy, or you can just import existing code base from GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or even your private Git server. I'm going to import a simple demo project I set up. It's a documentation portal created with Docuzarus, set up for Firebase hosting. As you can see, Buddy recognizes that my project has Firebase hosting in its DNA and tells me to automate the deployment. Let's add a new pipeline. In this window, you can choose the trigger mode and branch for the new pipeline. In plain English, you decide which branch of your project the pipeline handles 
And when it actually does that, when you set it off manually, automatically when it detects new changes on the selected branch, or recurrently in specific time intervals. I'm going to choose on push, which means that the pipeline will run every time I push changes to my project's main branch. Now, to get the ball rolling in Buddy, there are hundreds of predefined actions dedicated to different technologies, providers and outcomes. Think of them as your building blocks. For now, let's start simple. I will add a Node.js action that builds my documentation portal. I'm going to have it run npm install to download and install all required dependencies in the container and npm run build to build my static site. Then the Firebase action will deploy the static site to the server. I'm going to open a terminal window and run this command to get a Firebase token that I need to deploy my site. I will add it in the parenthesis to the Firebase deploy dash dash token command and then I will click add this action. Now that our first pipeline is ready, let's run it and see if it actually works. As you remember, I've set my trigger mode to on push, which means that the pipeline is waiting for changes on my project's main branch. I'm going to commit and push some changes that I have prepared beforehand. It seems that both steps run successfully and my site should be up on Firebase. Let me open the Firebase action logs and jump to the URL under which Firebase exposes my content. It's all there. You can see that infusing your project with some automation magic is very easy, especially with modern tools such as Buddy.